Hi all, just thought I'd do a video on the Tech B. There's a video already on YouTube for Tech B, um, but it seems the one in the video is actually a Sabi 5, which is a, a, a unit very close, but not exactly the same. So I thought I'd uh, just do a little video. Uh, a little bit of background noise because I've got workmen in and we don't want to be listening to them at the same time as we're doing the video. So uh, this is it. This is a, a Tech B. Um, made very famous in Andy McNabb's book Bravo 2.0 um, it's uh, been used it's uh, certainly not in a fantastic condition um, as you can see it's very different to the Sabi uh, more so in uh, the markings and this little pin just here um, and that little bit pin essentially makes it into more of a walkie talkie than a beacon um, if you remove the pin um, it releases the lever, um, which would then put it into a beacon mode where it would just transmit a, uh, a beacon rather than speech. Um, that's basically the only difference really. It's pretty much the same as a, uh, a Sabi 5, um, apart, from, apart from that feature really. I'm not sure if the Sabi 5 has the pin or has uh, the whole for the pin to go. Um, but that's pretty much um, the only difference um, that well that I'm aware of if uh, you know of uh, any other differences then by all means uh, drop me something in the comments and I'll update the video um, as you can see pretty much the same um, dummy battery fitted on this one at the moment uh, obviously the instructions are different because it's uh, a tap B rather than a Sabi and you can see there the instructions. I'll leave it on there for a second just in case any of you are reading that. You listen to the classical music in the background. Three, two, one, and there we go. So, yeah, that's the Tech B unit. Um, is the aerial fitted? Fitted uh, onto it with a on the I don't think it's going to focus on that. But there's the NSN number, the auto stop number for the aerial. Uh, the uh, the dummy battery does come off. This is a, a perfect. I've had the radio to pieces and took the covers off, and it is um, if the battery was working, uh, which I've tested the live battery that I've got. Well, not live, because as I said, I've tested the battery and the output is around about 0 0.6 volts. So uh, this battery is uh, is very much is very much uh, an empty battery. So uh, as you can see, as per the Sabi 5, there's the, uh, the markings on this battery and uh, the pins are there. I think the centre pin is negative and the outside pin is positive. Is that correct? It does say somewhere. Centre contact negative, so there you go. So negative there, and then you can plus bolts on the outside. Um, screws into place. As I said, there's uh, not enough power in it to uh, activate the radio, uh, which I wouldn't do anyway for obvious reasons. It's a distress beacon. And that goes in there just like that. Um, I believe when Special Forces used it, it was uh, strapped onto the back, um, sort of level with the kidney area, uh, on the left hand side. Um, when that was in place, uh, if it was to be used, I believe this extension was fitted. Whereas that would plug into the top of the radio, this would go up onto the top of the kit, and then the antenna would plug into there, and then the antenna then would be at a roundabout. Uh, head just over head height, shoulder height, um, to give you a little bit further range, I would suppose. Um, I've done a little bit more reading as well, and um, on the read up, I did find out the SAS used them more in Iraq um, to contact AWACS um, for uh, strikes, so they'd uh, contact AWACS or passing their aircraft. And they'd use them to call strikes on targets that they'd acquired. 
and that happened quite a lot in the Iraq war, the uh, the first the first war, uh, and the second one too apparently. So uh, was used quite a lot. Not many of these are left around. Um, I believe a lot of them were destroyed uh, for whatever reason, and uh, they're around about. Uh, for, for, for every 100 Sabi 5s you'll find you might get one Takbi and that's sort of how rare they are so there you go so that's the Tak 5 and as I said I made this video stick it on YouTube just for the simple fact I couldn't find anything else about it so uh, once again there's the unit front there's the side the mod record with the test lever there's a little tiny battery in there um, and the battery is fixed into the lid and that just pretty much you lift it and it removes the contact that's inside the aluminium case um, the case is completely waterproof and all of the uh, switches um, have uh, magnetic contacts um, which activate inside the case including the volume control it's a little tiny magnet um, on the top of the volume control so as you turn it the magnet moves across the inside of the case to activate the switch inside the case uh, if you should ever take the battery part off be very careful because there's a little tiny ball bearing in there and a very small spring and uh, which uh, which you can hear which clicks into place uh, and you don't want to lose those otherwise it won't uh, lock as over low or high so be very careful if you take those four screws out a little tiny ball bearing which you can just see under there and the spring so uh, I think that applies to the Sabi 5 as well be very careful um, regarding that spring and that ball bearing okay any questions I'll, uh, I'll have a look in the comments over the next few days um, and uh, see what I can do as regards to replying if I can find out any information um, as I said the pin that comes out and that just releases the receive lever so it would operate as a beacon rather than as to all intents and purposes a walkie talkie uh, where they can talk to pass, passing aircraft or, or AWACS AWACS um, right thank you very much I'll just pick up yeah, a dummy battery just so you can have a quick look at that it's just a red plastic tube really nothing in it completely empty uh, unlike the battery it's quite heavy it's a 12.5 volt battery mercury battery so uh, no recharge possible and i will not be doing anything regarding the battery uh, to reactivate it in any way shape or form uh, because as, a, as, as it says on the radio, you know, we don't want to be mucking around with those frequencies and I recommend uh, if anybody else has one, they certainly don't try putting any power through it uh, to interfere with uh, those two uh, emergency beacon frequencies. Right, so there you go. Tap your 5, BE499.